So hello everyone, my name is Mark and in this video I'm going to show you the best way to play with Chelsea in FIFA 18 in my opinion. We're going through the lineup, the formation, the instructions and the tactics. So we're going to go through them all. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you for watching and if you like the video, please don't forget to like the video because that's really uh, yeah, really helpful for me. Uh, if you want to see more of these videos, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and you will see them all. And if you have to say something about it, can be positive, can be negative, please drop it in the comments below and I will react to it as fast as I can. So then we're going to start with uh, the lineup. Courtois in the goal, of course, as Piliqueta as a right defender, Rudiger and David Luiz as uh, center backs. Why I choose Rudiger? Because I think he is a beast of a defender. He is uh, really fast for a defender, and uh, I think he is better than Cahill and better than Christensen. So I played a lot of games with him, and I really liked him. So that's why I choose him. Uh, at the left, Alonso. Then as center midfielders, Kante and Fabregas. At the 10, uh, attacking midfielder place, it's William. At the right, Pedro. At the left, Hazard and Morata as the striker. Then we're going to the formation. It's a 4-4-1-1 midfield formation. I, I used a lot of formations with Chelsea, 4-3-3, 4-4-2, but this one I like the most. Why? Uh, because of William. William is a really good attacking midfielder in my opinion. As you can see here, I can, he, he can play at the right wing, at the right midfield, and as a center midfielder, attacking midfielder. So uh, I placed him there in FIFA 70, I did, and I really like him at that place. So. If you didn't uh, didn't try it yet, please do. You will be surprised. Then we're going to the tactic first. Um, I choose long ball. Why? In long ball, players are looking for space to run into, so you can pass the ball into the space. And yeah, you know, you can go one on one to the keeper, or you can uh, cross the ball into the box. You can uh, create a lot of chances with this tactic especially if you have fast players well Pedro is really fast the only thing I changed with him in the instructions is supporting runs get in behind he is really fast can cross the ball really good into the box so that's why you want to get him in behind then we're going to Hazard he gets get in behind and cut inside why I choose cut inside because Hazard is the best player from Chelsea he can score really few, really few goals more in a match. Uh, I scored my, most of the time two or three goals with him. He's a really good shot, so that's why you want to cut him inside. Other uh, thing is Alonso. Alonso is really good at attacking, so attacking runs always overlap. He's a really good cross in his legs, so if Hazard, Hazard is going inside to cut inside, you can choose go, uh, yeah, go for the shot or pass the ball to Alonso and Alonso can cross the ball into the box. Um, why I'm doing this? Back to the team formation, back to the instructions. Um, then other thing, Kante stay back while attacking. Why? Because almost every player is going to go forward. William, free roam. He can go wherever he wants to. He's really good. He's really fast. So if he sees space, he goes into that space and you can pass the ball to him. But if Hazard and William and Morata and Pedro are going forward, maybe Fabregas also, you want Kante to stay back because you are, uh, yeah, if you, if you lose the ball, your opponent will counter you and only men that are there are David Luiz, Rüdiger and Aspiliqueta. That's not enough. Kante is really good at defense, so stay back while attacking. Um, I think we got them all. Yes, I think we got them all. This will be the end of the video. I really want to thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please drop a like, subscribe to my channel for more. And I want to thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.